Hey guys, it's me, Sam Jam 101 and I'm back at you with another rank match commentary video. But this time, yes, it is a hunter rank match. Um, a little disclaimer, I am not a good hunter. Nor do I try to say that I am a good hunter. And like, the moral of the story is, <laughs> I suck. <laughs> this video was requested by Rango because I secretly think he wants to see me suffer. But that's okay, because we're going to suffer together and you're going to watch me literally want to die, because I suck. Um, to start off, I just want to say that these survivors in that, like, before the match chat thing were talking about being toxic, and I literally thought this was going to be the match where I uninstalled the game because of the toxicness and I just couldn't take it anymore. But it ended up not being so bad, so I'm kind of grateful for that. <laughs> But no one was at that first cipher that I went to, and I thought for sure someone was going to be, but that's okay. Um, but I was certain that someone was going to be at this one, and I was right. It was the perfumer. So I dash at her, and then I swing, but I somehow didn't hit her. But I wasn't going to give this perfumer the satisfaction of getting to jump back after I hit her. So I waited for her perfumer like, to end so I could hit her and get that hit and get that presence. Um, so I dashed at her right here, and it like took me back. So that kind of like threw me off guard a little bit. And then right here, I missed. And then right here, I miss again. <laughs> and then right here, uh, let's see, um, I miss because she juked me with her perfume. And then finally, finally, I get her down right here. And uh, I was cheering on the other side of this iPad when I was done. Um, I got kind of scared because I thought the coordinator was near me and I thought she was going to like hit me with her gun and I kind of got scared. So I was like, you know what? If it happens, it happens. And so I was going to take her to this chair, but I was like, no, we're taking you to the further one. So it gives you a less of a chance to get to the factory. And so I sat her here and I was just going to wait. I was waiting for that coordinator. I was going to do that cool trick where you're up in the sky and then someone comes down at you and then you smack them and then they go for the save and then you smack them again. But it didn't work out because I'm kind of dumb and <laughs> I decided to dash at this coordinator right here. And so then my thought process was to hit her and then teleport to the chair. Um, but yeah, it didn't work out like that. And then I was going to try to juke the gun, but I do not have skill. And <laughs> but that's okay. We're going to get shot anyway. And then I saw the perfumer go this way, and I figured she would have doubled back and went over into that corner, but she didn't. She decided to run over there. And you would have thought I would have gotten the hit over here, but man, would you be wrong. I go through this pallet, and then I miss. I miss her. And then I break down this pallet after trying to dash at her, but it didn't let me go through. Um, I should have went through that window right there and, like kind of caught her off guard because she was probably going to go up those stairs anyway but to my little surprise there was a enchantress underneath me stacking up those um skull points so she could get the save on that perfumer and let me just say that the enchantress is a good survivor in rank if you're a survivor but in hunter rank oh, so annoying so annoying because she just easily got that save right there and I just wanted to throw my iPad <laughs> but that's okay so I was not giving up I was gonna go after this perfumer I was like not today we're not gonna not get you down so I got her down there and then I was like you know what enchantress I saw you go behind that pole I'm not stupid so I hit her too and I'm like you know what I'm gonna put her on the chair instead because I've had enough of her and I don't want to deal with her anymore I'd rather that perfumer get back up than this enchantress. And then the mechanic was right there, and I thought that was kind of strange. And so I was like, you know what, we're going to get the hit on her, maybe she'll run away, try to get the save. But she didn't, she just stood there, so she's AFK. And that ended up working out really good in, that, in my favor. Because I was able to go put her on this other chair, but I probably should have not, and then like waited for the coordinator to try to get the save on the enchantress. But I just didn't think that too far ahead <laughs> but here is the icing on the cake the absolute icing I get a doom shock of all things thankfully on that coordinator and I was like you know what we're not dealing with her anymore we're gonna put her on the chair after I try to get this enchantress but she ended up using her skull and I was like you know what that was to be expected because who wouldn't 
Um, so I ended up actually going and preventing her from getting the save, and then I went after the coordinator, and I put her on the chair. Because I wasn't dealing with her anymore. There was no way. No way. And then the perfumer's somewhere over here. Yeah, she just wasted her Tide Turner on her AFK friend, and I was like, you know what, that's fine. That is fine, because she doesn't have to use it later when she tries to, um, go after the coordinator and such. But I decided to put the Enchantress on the chair so she couldn't pop back up. And I was going to hit this mechanic, so she, if she decided to, like, jump back in or wasn't going to be AFK anymore, couldn't get the save. And then I saw the perfumer hiding, and then I miss. <laughs> and then, it's okay, because I got her right here. And then I was going to put the perfumer on the chair, but like I said, I didn't want that mechanic to somehow pop up. Because, I mean, I've seen it, uh, and then I've personally have done it, where I've been F AFK for a couple of minutes, and then I got put back into the game and I was able to pop out pop back up and help my team so I moved her away from the chair so she couldn't get the saves and then I was like we're gonna get you perfumer because it's your turn to be on the chair and then I take her to this chair that's pretty close because if I would have tried to go over to that one I think she probably would have like broke free but you know that's okay um but yeah it ended up being a pretty good match because I was able to get the four man thankfully by the luck of someone being AFK Honestly, <laughs> because if she wasn't AFK, I probably wouldn't have been able to get that four man. And it just ended up working in my favor. But if you want to see more videos like this, um, please let me know. Please let me know if you want to continue to see me suffer because I did suffer a lot <laughs> in this ranked match. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great day and thanks for watching and let me know what you think. Bye.